did incredible things. 85. And he has really upped it in the last few games. He has smashed it in plus averages against Beaton, Durant and then John Henderson in the semi-finals. Another 106 average might be enough. 85. But anything less might not be against Wade. On the machine here yet again. He's got it up. 140. See Michael Smith in the semis again. The, the peculiar performance of Michael Smith when he faces James Wade. Now losing 15 out of 100. 16 matches against the machine. And in the last three that we've seen over the last week or so, here on the streaming service, averaging in the 80s in all of them. 41. He's taken a sight of James Wade, but we might well meet next weekend on the European Tour. We just looked at the seedings. They're uh, seeded to meet in the third round in Munich. Happy Easter, Michael. 85. Yeah, one, year, one win in five years is one thing, but one win in five years when you've played each other more than a dozen times, that's... That's becoming mental block. 64 as an issue. Two treble 19s. Leave double 16. Couldn't find the second part, but he's left it handy. Well, does Vaughan looking good? He's finishing against John Henderson in the semi finals. Was it? Uh, it was only one visit in the entire game where he missed a couple of darts at double and that visit. Game shot. And if he continues to do that, then he has got every live chance against James Wade. A guy he's not beaten before. They did meet three times last year, and it was all in that spell at the start of the year, February and March, where Desvan was starting to make inroads. He was doing bits on the meet a couple of finals before he won his first PDC title. And Wade played him in the all three times he won, although two of those wins were last leg deciders. Was the last leg decider that saw Desvan win his first PDC title around this time last year. 140. The end of April when he beat Johnny Clayton, who has continued to perform over the last 12 months. Jeffrey has had those brilliant 100. runs. The match play, the one that stands out, of course, when he reaches semi finals, but has kind of disappeared a little bit since then. He has, although. He was a little bit unfortunate at Alexandra Palace. 140. He was by far, well, probably the best performing loser in the second round, where he played Rob Cross and, and was scintillating again. It looked like the match play, Jeffrey Desvon, but Cross still found a way to win it. Jack that Cross again in his Premier League bow, one of the contenders. 140. Do he will be a contender to be more than a contender at some point. Wade needs to pile the pressure on here because a hat trick of 140s have left Desvan 140. threatening his throw. 12s. Bullseye. Game shot. Very, very confident. Didn't even contemplate the treble 12. And when you can hit the bullseye that squarely, why not? Scintillating start from JDZ. James Wade 140 plots his way back into this match in the background. You mentioned the machine is not one of the elite band of players yet to have picked up a, 99. a weekend double header of wins on the Pro Tour. It's actually almost five years since James Wade won three titles in a 59. year. 2014, the last time he did it, and that was after three years almost without a title. True, but then again, when you tot up the number of years where he's won multiple titles, 120 for the machine. There aren't many who've had more of those years than Wadey. There are not, but he could end up, but we were only in April. He wins today. Could end up winning more this year than he's ever won before, quite possibly. Well, I did suggest that to him yesterday, and he seemed to dismiss it by saying, you evidently weren't paying attention when I was winning things left, right and centre back in the day. But he's, he's not a player who's won ten titles in a year. Uh, and he's scoured the record sort of, books yeah. and the, the most I could see was four in a single yeah. year. Well, the, 
you know, he, he, could, he could double that tally with the way that he's playing, the way that he started this year. Work to do here, though, because Desvan has a two-leg cushion and a two-data to make it three. 40. <laughs> Absolute look of Did disgust. Did he throw the dart sideways anyway? What happened there? Because it didn't seem to be entering the board at any stage. He could go double-double. He does like double-double, but he's looking at the 18s, isn't he? 39. James Wade. Always finds a way, doesn't he? Treble 14. Well, for some reason. 54. He stayed at that treble 20, even though it looked severely barricaded by the previous dart. He is very stubborn on that treble 20, but that was an odd decision Game in shot. that instance. And Jeffrey Desvan's excellent doubling continues. Because Matt is a 17 darter. And to his 12 and 16 data, he is averaging a ton. And Jeffrey Desvan, we know, can maintain this sort of stuff. He's just won three games 93. with a, a pretty big gap in between the quarters and the semi final for Jeffrey Desvan over on the other board. 103 and a half, 102 and a half, and 106.8. But this is just what he is doing this afternoon. 100. Yeah, he did reach a couple of finals before he won his first event last year. Ran into Gary Anderson in both of them. Lost 6-2 in both of them. But 100. It does seem to be a... He either gets beaten very early or goes very deep. There's not much in the middle. Yeah, he's one of those guys who seems to play his way into tournaments. And 59. once he's, he's into running, it's going to take something monumental to stop him. A bit like a, a mechanic who could tinker 140. with the entry. Well, that's kind of what Jeffrey is now, isn't he? He's a, he's a ship mechanic, fixes engines for boats, and it's that it's the discipline 100. that he's got of working in the mornings and then practicing the afternoons that has come inside him starting to play world-class stuff on a regular basis. Well, maybe it's the same discipline that has helped James Wade because he's a man who used to kind of get 96. the working in the morning bit right but didn't bother with the practice in the afternoon. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure that he has been putting in the work. 180. As Desvan puts it on him here. We've had to wait till leg four for the first one. And that is a surprise. 52. And Desvan, the 180, has put him under pressure. Wow, James Wade said. Those shots have been going today. Shot. Desvan takes it, a double break of throw, and James Wade finds himself 4-0 down with Desvan throwing first in the next leg. Who would have seen this coming? Jeffrey Desvan. Look, he is hitting 180s as, as regularly as almost anybody on the floor. Look at the 180s per visit stats, and he's up there in the top 10 with the likes of Chizzy and Rob Cross, all these guys. But it is not the 180s 136. that have put him in this position. It's not the 180s that have led to him going three consecutive ton-plus averages leading up to this. Yes, they help, but it is the finishing. And the finishing against John Henderson was incredible. 96. And it started off just as incredible here. JDZ carrying on. Stopping James Wade, it seems, from... 98. Doubling his title haul for the weekend and instead might be doubling his own for his career 80. this is the bullseye on this occasion so he won't leave himself the 170 checkout James Wade must be thinking 140 and I don't know what your opinion is on this Dan but the, that he has to win this leg I'm, I'm never sure what Wade's thinking if I'm honest well, there is that, but 127. 96. Would give it him. Trouble 19. And no, 127 and way 59. into the game. And does Vaughan could go ball first start? I think he'll go treble 18. And if he only hits the single, he may go double double. We saw that at the world match play. Tops. And 54. finally, James Wade is given an opportunity. Gets two darts at double ten. 
Needs them both. Game shot. Doesn't need any more. And then what I thought was a must-win leg, James Wade did win and did break. And there's a big, big difference between a deficit of 4-1 and one of 5-0. Oh, I'm just one hundred us back to the hockey in the with the air of a man who could be 4-1 up. He sort of pretended, or maybe he didn't genuinely 40. know, but he sort of, oh, was that your throw, Jeffrey? That kind of attitude then. And I think there is a little bit of old nous in that. 100. James Wade trying to show Jeffrey who's boss, even down to the size of the water bottles on the table behind them. James Wade's brought in a ginormous one. 57. Well, Jeffrey is a pretty inscrutable young man. He never gives much away. Whether he's been playing poorly, brilliantly, all the way through the match play, he just... You had no idea what he was thinking. He's just... Tabula rasa. Just a, a blank expression. He smashed in 106 averaging. Just if you watch him around the venues in the practice rooms of the majors and in the arenas here, he very much keeps himself to himself. Not one for having tables full of friends. 100. And for an afternoon's pleasantries, is he? It's all about business. It's a social occasion for Jeffrey Desvan. He's here. 180. And another maximum for Desvan. And if he can start piling in the 180s like we know he can, he can make life even harder for Wadey. Oh my word, how often do you see that? He's missed the big number. Correct. Well, he hasn't done it often enough to know what was left. 24. Late. And now he has to rely on Jeffrey Desvan not completing this three dart combination. 83. The jersey's running to 90. Needs double top. Game shot. He is finding a way back into this match. It looked like there might be no way into this match when Desvon had a couple of darts at tops for 5-0. But James Wade is never beaten. We mentioned Michael Smith and the way that he's performed against Wade at least the last twice we've seen him. The last three times we've seen him. Today, for the first five legs, Michael Smith was playing 60. magic darts. He was averaging over 100. It was seeming to go well. And there was one leg where Wade took a finish out to make it four repeats, I think it was. And then Smith just kind of collapsed. 60. What is it that he does to play as James Wade? I don't know. I'm not sure voodoo is particularly a thing in older shots where he's from. But if it is... Maybe the main 84. practitioner of it. But all of a sudden here, Desvan, who was up above a ton after four legs himself, having won them all, has lost the last two. He was strayed in two of his last three visits, and the one in between, he only hit 60. Mind you, he's back in the room now. 125. This is it. Desvan, with his explosive scoring power, at any point, you think he's nowhere in the leg, and all of a sudden he's back in it. That's been some wayward stuff in this one, though, from Jeffrey. And both players have 106 in front of them, and one of them might not get a go because the machine wants double top. Game shot. Hits double top, and James Wade has somehow clawed his way back into this contest. Averages a level at 96. James Wade is throwing to level the match at four apiece. And just a few minutes ago, he was stood at the back of the cubicle 60. watching Jeffrey Desvan and wondering whether he'd get to or whether he'd go 5 0 down. The only changed in Jeffrey Desvan's demeanour is you seeing him. Just mutter away to himself a few times when he's on the hockey. 55. 
short shame. One hundred. James Wade is in a slow player. Jeffrey Desvan does like to get on with it, and he's had one hundred huge averages against. John Henderson and Steve Beaton, who will play at his pace, but in between that was Glenn Duran, and he certainly takes longer to complete visits than James Wade does, so we can't even suggest that it's the pace that has changed a little bit for Jeffrey Disvan. 140. One thing Jeffrey Disvan is thinking of coming to the board with 212 required. It is 180 to lead double 60. 60. He only gets the 60. 142, players 152. Machine just hoping to leave it handy here. 100. Sam Widges, that third dart in between the two markers. Can this farm produce some fireworks? 134. Did he peak too soon in this final. So only one route for Wade on 42. What a guy that is. Game shot. It is inevitable sometimes. And with James Wade in the form that he is in, those visits, they're almost gimmies. That's one on the spin for the machine, having lost the first four of the match. Is it going to level out, or are we going to see... 82. The baton exchanged again, or will Wade just carry on? And walk over the line. Been a, an interesting 140. start to this final. Jeffrey Disvan needing to find it again. Get a feeling that James Wade's just going to carry on like this for the rest of the match, but Disvan could be up and down. First start, absolutely perfect for Jeffrey Desvan, and he doesn't even leave himself a finish from there. Yeah, just staying straight would have done that. Machine is not going to either. 60. So a chance to stop the rocks. One hundred and thirty-eight. Well, it was two. That were missed for a 5 0 lead by Jeffrey Desvan. 139. He's got three darts in his hand looking at the same target. Game shot. He exercises some of those demons with a very, very often first dart checkout to go back into the lead. First to eight, remember. 97. Ninety-seven. James Wade has had some close encounters in getting to this final today. Three of them, two of them are going to last leg deciders. And then that semi-final against Michael Smith, which was close to a point. Luke Woodhouse in match one, Wade won 6 5, and then Ted Everts in match three by the same scoreline. He did have a. It's very rare that you see James Wade thrash. 80. Whitewashed Christian Kiss earlier today with an average of 108.7. You know, I think we are seeing Wade. It was always the thing, James Wade wins by one or two legs, but. This year, we have seen him take people apart. Average 110 in smashing Dowell Gurney all over the board in the Premier League, for example. I think that the averages have 99. risen to a standard that he hasn't really set before. Mm. I believe he is playing as well as ever, James Wade, and he's looking as dangerous as ever. Game shot. And he levels this final up at five apiece. And yes, he can, he can whitewash people. He can average 110. 140. At one point today against Stephen, 
game that finished 6-4, it looked like it was going to be another whitewash with an average in the 120s. James Wade is looking very dangerous, but of all the people in World Darts you don't want to be in a tight game in a final with, James Wade might be the one because he makes a habit of winning them. Would you place your 50 pence on him to win the Premier League this year? I think uh, I would certainly expect him to make the playoffs with the way that he is playing. Let's not forget, he's beaten Michael Van Gerwen in that tournament. He takes on 180 to right in Cardiff on Thursday, a man who is looking a little bit vulnerable. Not just on the big stage, but again, an early exit for Snakebite this afternoon here. 140. Has he got to play Michael Smith again this season? It's back to that maximum. 140. No, he's got to play him on the European tour, and he does meet him in Sheffield as well. Well, everything suggests that that's another two points for him in his fight 48. for a spot in the playoffs. This would be very weighty. Oh, a surprise that he doesn't get a dart at the double. Yeah, correct. 57. It's fine. Might have to take this out because this would be a perfect moment for James Wade to not only break the throw, but to go ahead for the first time in the match. It's one dart at top. 94. He hasn't hit it. James Wade. Once double ten. Game and shot. James Wade so often relies on double ten. And he is six up in this final. Having survived darts to be five nil down. And for the first time, you can see some disappointment written across the face of the 23-year-old Dutchman. He is this sport's eternal opportunist, James Wade. 58. Didn't look flustered at 4-0 down at all. Just bided his time, waited for his moment, and when it came, once again, James Wade pounced. 136. He was disappointed yesterday at the end of the final, having beaten Michael Smith. He played some really good stuff over the course of the day in spells. And yet, because Michael Smith didn't fall in the final, he felt it was a letdown and it, it wasn't well, it wasn't a proper title. How hard has he had to work? How many moments of quality has he had to produce so far in this final? To he may feel very different at the end of this one if he does go on and claim the title. 95. We could move. And up here. Treble 16. Earns him a dart at double top. Game shot. And James Wade is one away. Having been four behind and almost five behind in this decider. And Jeffrey Desvan's average has not Fifth changed eight. for the last six legs. It is still 96, and yet James Wade has found a way to win these legs. 140. This is an astonishingly resilient and brilliant display from the machine. 96. Well, he's showing no signs of not being able to finish a job. We know James Wade is a winner. Has won more times than most players 85. on the tour could even dream of winning. And he is going to be well on course to completing his most successful year ever. And 47. there were people that were suggesting that James Wade's best days were behind him. The best may yet be to come from James Wade. 85. He said that becoming a dad last year changed his perspective. It's changed how he feels about darts, about life, about all sorts of things. 180. Is that the start of a comeback, or is it the last death throws for Jeffrey Desvan? Well, the cash will certainly help for James Wade, won't it? Potential 30 grand in eight days for the machine. So he leaves himself poised and says to Jeffrey, you've got to hit this. Can he even find a way to that? Has he? 100. He had. But he just ran out of gas en route to the double top. A target that James Wade wants to complete a weekend 
double. And the machine shot, finds the it once again. James Wade wins here in Barnsley. Last second.